Welcome back. I blew out my voice, so I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. But, um, since we're already near Ascalon, let's try and. Sir, Wait, what? You are not welcome here. Huh? But I need blood! Obtain a drop of William Marshall's blood from Lord Redgrave. How am I supposed to do that then? Back door then? I think I've seen a back door here. Music is nice, not gonna lie. Do I really have to sneak into the Redgrave, the Ascalon mansion? Oh, I can! I I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. Oh, you mean that means make up an excuse or a lie? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that actually scared me. And I'm not allowed right now to talk very loudly. <laughs> oh, you little. <laughs> actually scares me. Does he know all of this is going down downstairs? He must hear all this commotion. Or maybe they're as deaf as the people working at the hospital. When they didn't hear me. When they beat Edgar Swansea Purple. Oh my gosh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. How are these mobs harder than McCollum, huh? Tell me. Although it does make for... It does feel like, yeah, he's an old vampire, I guess, and he's an Ascalon, so... It is nice that everything, even the small mobs, are tough. Because it wouldn't make sense. He's nowhere to be seen. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is your office. Creepy. Yeah, exactly. They think all the members of a club must be of good extraction and flawless. Eh, nothing too important. What's behind this door, Mr. Redgrave? Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood wow, of that William easily? Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? <laughs> of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. Well... Ooh, I can't tell him. He's not really... Is he really gonna care about the last hope? Huh. Stop this farce. Marshall never was your maker. I have no idea how you acquired his blood, but I need it now. I see. Well, in that case, <laughs> given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my yeah, lord. I suppose if I can spare you a drop. If you manage to save the city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. <laughs> Our fate lies wholly in your He's hands. He's like, if, if you shut up about, about my lineage, oh my gosh, even Godspeed with you. I'll take the whole jar. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's hard to even laugh. My voice. Wait, what's here? Oh, right, right, right. This is the basement that doesn't have anything. And it still doesn't have anything. Eh. Wow. And I was right here battling him. Huh? For a vampire, you're quite deaf, you know that? So, Charlotte. Right to vote is only the you want to be a vampire, huh? I read your diary Women die too in this good evening miss ashbury and good evening to you oh, dr and reed now i know why she didn't want to make you a vampire she would you would have been an uh, icor 
What is your opinion of Aloysius Dawson? I'm sure you did what you had to without him suffering more than he deserved. I'm not sure I'd have been so merciful. Oh, you have no idea how merciless I was. Why do you still hope to become a vampire in spite of your mother's refusal? It's the immortal aspect of vampires that interests me. The world won't improve unless women take charge. I'm convinced of that. You're obviously a clever woman with a good education and a brilliant future. But have you thought about the price you'd have to pay? The loneliness? The necessary masquerade? Is it not true of every high position? To change this world and make it a better place, one needs time on one's side. Mm, that's also true. Tell me, Charlotte, how do you plan to achieve eternal life? Since you've obviously given it a lot of thought. I won't give up. You have no idea how determined I am, sir. I may contract a deadly disease. I may throw myself under wow. a carriage just to be saved by her sweet Listen, kiss. you That's don't... That's a disturbing answer, young lady. And the worst part of it is, I know you speak the truth. There are less dangerous ways, Doctor. Instead of throwing myself under a horse like Emily Davison, I could just throw Listen. myself into your arms. When the mother is already his girlfriend, now the daughter is flirting. It's kind of... You know, I never asked for any of these relationships. Does the game ask me this? Be careful what you wish for, young lady. I could gaze at you right now and then take you to a shady corner and have my way with Whoa. you. And leave your carcass to the rats. You... you wouldn't dare. My mother would know. Oh, scared her. She'd never forgive you. How could she suspect me? Do you know how many vampires are lurking in the city tonight as we speak? Whoa. Vampires with a worse sense of humor than mine. <laughs> oh, my God. For one second, I thought you actually... Excellent, Dr. Reed. Very convincing. Yeah, she did make fun of me when I came to West End, so that was a good one, Mr. Reed. Really scare her. But she's still not convinced out of... Honestly, I don't think she, your mother would make you an Ikor. I think she would let you die before making you into a disfigured epidemic. So I don't know, maybe it is best for me to transform her? I don't know. But after she said that she would throw herself in my arms, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't want to put my fangs near you now. Your mother has refused to turn you into a vampire. Tell me more about it. Each time we argue, mother expresses the same fear. She wants me to remain alive and full of joy, rather than become melancholy and immortal. She claims you can't have one without the other. It's pure selfishness. Your mother has walked this earth for much longer than you or I. She is wise, and we should not ignore her advice when we disagree with it. But why shouldn't I be allowed to forge my own experience? There can't be only one righteous way to deal with eternity. It's your mother's choice. As daughters and sons, we have to accept the decisions our parents make for us, despite our own wishes. I love my mother, and have accepted everything from her. Even that she named me Charlotte, when it was not my original name. Does it bother you? No. Whoever I was when I was born, I am now Charlotte Ashbury. It hurts as much as it makes me proud to know that's the name my mother will read on my tombstone. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. I don't know. She ran off last time. And she does want the best for you, girl. Don't you worry about that. Also, Louise. Good evening, Miss Teasdale. How have you been since you returned home? Dr. Reed. Oh, thank God you returned safely from these awful streets. You too. I was so worried about my father that I left without thanking you properly. Please don't mention it, miss. Good. I found him, you know. My dad. Or what was left of him. 
I think my abductor intended to do the same thing to me. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Never heard of him. Really? <laughs> He's very well known in London. Throughout the country, even. Are he a big shot or something? Never interested in politics myself. You know, sometimes All that's... All words and no action. That's smart. What do you do for a living, Miss Teasdale? Before my kidnapping, I was a waitress in a pub. Now I'm unemployed. Were you fired? No. It's just that after my recent experience, I don't feel like I can go back to my normal life. I need to do something useful. No, but be very careful. Just don't say what you said to, um, to Charlotte, okay? <laughs> be very careful, Miss Teasdale. You were lucky to escape death once, but vampires lurk everywhere. You killed my kidnapper by yourself, didn't you? No offense, Doctor, but you're just a doctor. I don't see why I couldn't do the same. I thought she would be like, you killed a vampire. I think you're suspicious, but I guess not. What do you intend to do? Dad always told me, Louise, if you want something, don't stop until you have it. I did my research and I found it. Ichabod Frogmore, oh my professional gosh. vampire hunter. Uh -huh. I'll be his apprentice. Uh huh. What can you tell me about this area? I've never really liked this part of town. It was where my father wanted to live. I won't remain here much longer. What exactly don't you like about it? People here are contemptuous and elitist. My dad always said, Louise, always treat people like you want them to treat True. you. True, what's a good man I can already tell. Too bad that happened to him. Louise, what can you tell me about the vampire who captured you? The little fucker claimed he'd fallen in love with me. That he wanted to spend eternity with me. Not a bad idea. At least that's the way it seemed at first. Really? Did you consider accepting his proposal? Well, immortality. Not a common wedding gift, is it? I think he just wanted to have his way with me. Can vampires even fuck, Doctor? What? <laughs> um, oh. well, I... I he I, hasn't I really tried yet. <laughs> Well, <laughs> since they are creatures of blood, um, physically speaking, I suppose an erection is possible. Oh but my I... god, shut up! <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, Dr. Reed. I yeah. was just asking. It's so funny, he hasn't really changed. Even as a vampire, imagine making a vampire blush. It's really funny. <laughs> Louise, tell me what you really think about your father's sacrifice to save you. I'm proud he went after me. I forgive him all his harsh words, all his bloody attitudes. I only wish I could tell him how much I loved him. Yes. It can be traumatic not having the chance to say goodbye to those we love. Yes, Doctor. And there's no treatment for that type of pain, isn't that right? That may be the last thing my father taught me. I can tell that you took a lot from your father. You have the same strength, the same temper, the same everything. You'll be just fine. And he's, he'd be so freaking proud of you. How brave you were with the kidnapper. He taught you well. And he'd be proud of his little girl. You seem to cherish your father a great deal. Dad was the best. Kept an eye on me, but let me make my own mistakes. It's Louise smart. used to say, mistakes are the best teacher. True. You would have liked to. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye. That's all right. He's buried in consecrated ground now. Nothing bad can happen to him. Hmm. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. It's always been your house, Dad. Not mine. Don't let Sweet girl. Come into your house. I forgot to treat her, so I went back and treated her. But... Oh my gosh, I forgot about Emily. When I came to the West End, Charlotte did tell me that she wants to... Oh no, that away. Charlotte did tell me that Emily was in trouble. I hope nothing happened during that time. Listen, lots of things happened, okay? I, I was... everything all at the same time. Okay, around here. says it's around here but I don't see it not from here nor from here but thank you Venus I thank you know. thank you I'm in a rush your house might actually help me get to a balcony I don't know we'll see 
Will they be able to? Oh, 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 oh. Nah. Oh. Yeah. I hope she's alive. No invitation is needed to enter this building. That can't be a good sign. All oh, right, he's a vampire. He no can't... sign of a struggle. It seems Charlotte's friend knew the killer and let him in. This that this means I guess that the he is a vampire, so they're not allowed to enter a house unless invited. Right. So that means if she's that means she's dead because he entered. So she already knew about vampires, and her fiance was a vampire. And she wanted to play with Charlotte before turning, like you taught me how to play with mortals, and then turn her into an immortal as well and cleanse the city of its pure and pure soul. Emily wanted to become a vampire. Something must have gone wrong. Or it went Someone right. Is responsible for this mess. And what's here? I saw something. Oh, blood. I should follow the trail. Okay, follow the trail. Ooh. This is so cool, jumping from that high and doing no damage. If I had done that in Witcher, I'd have been dead. And I thought he would be like, he had, he'd have cat-like reflexes, you know? Oh. Uh... Hello? Who are you? What are you doing here? I could Jacques ask you Queen? the same question. I'm the Marquis de bois Colombe, and I strongly invite you to find your own game, sir. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm here to solve the mystery concerning the death of a young woman killed by a vampire. A young woman killed by a vampire? Oh, <laughs> you're joking, right? Oh, I do love the British sense of humor. You turned her, didn't you? I think it's you. And who exactly are you? I am Jacques-Michel yep. Guillaume Florimond, the Marquis de Bois-Colombe, at your service, my dear cousin. I'm sorry, I, I am bad with names. If it's not a few letters, I cannot remember. I even called you Jacques, but I, I don't think that's your name. What, what did I call you? You're French, but your English is quite good. I was born in France, sir, but I consider myself a traveler of this world. Mmm, so many countries, so many tantalizing tastes. Oh, wow. I wonder how much yeah, he actually cared about Emily. Dear cousin, are we related? We could be of the same blood, my dear. I tend to consider all Econs as family, don't you? What are you doing here? I recently decided to visit London. I've always dreamed of visiting a city on the verge of collapse. Such a delicate yet intense spectacle. Oh, so you're a sadist. So I'm trying to save this city, but you just want to, to destroy it, right? What do you plan to do here? Take pleasure. Take pictures. Enjoy the show. Have fun. Believe me, I won't be the only foreign immortal who bought a ticket to the fair. You take pleasure from others' misery. I have been a totally depraved and immoral creature since the day I was reborn, sir. And probably before. So when do I kill you? I followed the trail of blood from her room to here. Oh, you're referring to that young woman. You're calling yes, Emily the that? the meeting turned messy. I'm afraid I ruined my last wedding goat. I'm so sorry, you I don't know what that means. I admit nothing, my good sir. I only regret the blood of that girl staining my clothes. Oh. Oh, blood can be so messy. What happened? She wanted to become one of us. Not the first time I have received such a proposal, but uh, I must admit her direct approach tempted me. And then what? The body rejected my blood. It happens, you know, sometimes even with voluntary prey. 
At least her gurglings brought me some fun. Voluntary the artery burst. To her, you were her fiance, and this is how you treat her. I'm gonna save so many people by doing this. Your cruelty deserves punishment, sir. And what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> Is he immune or something? One second. Ooh, plus a hundred and one. So worth it. Report to Charlotte Ashbury about her missing friend. Sorry, Charlotte, about your friend, but she was a kind of a big B as well. She wanted to do the same thing as he. Just relish in other people's pain and destroy the city. So, Charlotte, they she might around. she might actually be pissed at me for Wait this, by the way. But I hope not. Wait, Charlotte? Oh my gosh, you're always at this position. Why are you not here right now? You are scaring me. Don't do that. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Doctor Reed. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Your friend was planning to become a vampire. She thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure? To become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood. I should never have talked to Emily about vampires. I never thought she'd actually try it without me. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Here, take this for your discretion. Wow, you gave Goodbye, me a Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. A woman killer dead and a friend who betrayed you. I don't think I've done anything wrong. Who was crazy even before becoming a vampire. Report to Clarence Crossley. Oh wait, I didn't talk to Frogmorton or any of those guys. Good evening, old chap. Are you alright? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. These are the documents you wanted me to look for. I think I've gathered Where all the these documents? research about vampires. Oh, thank you, Johnny. <laughs> That'll help me separate the myths from the facts. I'm not sure you can consider this material factual, but it's yours now. What do you intend to do with it? First, I'm going to show them to Venus. It'll open her eyes and make her understand the importance of my mission. Have you any news about Aloysius Dawson? He was aware of many things, many secrets. It's obvious a vampire assassin must have got to him. He knew <laughs> too much. Yes, I'm an assassin. <laughs> you need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. He doesn't even know he would have become one of the worst vampires. <laughs> And I haven't solved the mystery of of my father. Was he a vampire? What was he? Maybe vampire hunter? That would be even more poetic. So, and it's around here somewhere. <laughs> that sound. Oh wow, they don't explode after that. Okay, that's a good way around it. Without help, this would have taken me 10 freaking years because the hint was green grass and tall trees. This whole freaking park has that. And 
then I think it's here. I hate puzzles. Well, actually, riddles. Puzzles, not bad. This is actually so wholesome. When you told us you wanted to pursue a career in medicine to improve life for all, without consideration of wealth, I knew we, as your parents, had taught you the most important lesson of all. To respect each and every soul for what they, for what they are, not what they have. If you want to know more, all I have to do is to remember which hospital you chose to apply for your first internship. And as ever, your loving father. I had almost forgotten I applied for a position. Really? That was so long ago. Wait, did they not accept you? How dare they? But I really love that. That he was taught that to, to accept and love each and every soul without discrimination. Because this is also one of the very reasons why Sean Hampton is one of my favorite ones. Because when he was alive, he did the same. He, he tried to help everyone. And even for Harriet Jones, he had so much compassion. And he tried to... He didn't judge her. He... He still, even her, he had love for her. So I was very afraid to uh, to make him a vampire because I know vampires are repelled by by crosses, by anything, you know. So I thought if I were to turn him, I thought his belief was the only thing stopping him from from giving in to his first. That was because he was saying something like. He was saying, expel your urges. So he was trying to to not put his hunger first. So I was worried that I would break his mind if I were to turn him into a vampire and then he would feel like God is rejecting him. And so that was my, my thought process when I spared him. So I was really upset at Harriet Jones when she was like, it always makes her happy when she sees a saint fall to sin. I actually cut it out, but I actually told her with a really pissed off voice, what the f did that bitch just say? <laughs> I told Harriet Jones, <laughs> but I cut it out. But now I wish I would have kept it. <laughs> so in a way, I really, I really liked that even in death, he was still seeing everyone as equals and loved by God and deserved redemption. So I really so I think his ideals, I want to believe that he, he didn't, the saint didn't fully fall to sin. I don't want Harriet to have that satisfaction. So I think the compassion that he showed, I think should be, should be passed on. The way he lived his life and always tried to save everyone. And how he said, there is love and compassion in your heart. You, can, you only need to give it wings. I think my decisions, I think I will try to base them on those words. To, that he does have still compassion in his heart. And love. And he only needs to give, give it wings. Mr. Swansea! How are you? Wait, Mr. Swansea? But I have a exclamation mark for you maybe i should go sleep i'm trying to find my father's hints that he left and it's so hard oh my gosh i got so lucky this is my last letter for you chose to hide in the pembroke hospital do you remember how disappointed you were when your application was rejected i had never seen you so upset for days you did not say a word this was the first time I realized the darkness you had in you. A black stone embedded in your heart, hidden to all, which I sometimes saw in your sister too. I feared for you both, for I perfectly knew what it meant to feel this gloomy mood. The dark side of the reeds, the reason why I must go now that I know I'm condemned. I won't be Aubrey Reed, the dying banker, surrounded by his friends and family, unable to leave his bed. I won't stand it. I don't accept it, so I left. Just like you left us to become the great surgeon you are destined to be. 
the great surgeon I never want to see next to me, looking at me, knowing I will die soon. Keep on studying, my son. Become whoever you're destined to be. And do it for yourself, not for your old father who loves you. I have taken all the necessary measures to protect you. My family, if any dangers to come. I want you all to remember me as I was, not as I'm about to be. I leave, for I love you, my pearls and jewels. I do it because I have this dark mood in me. I hid from everyone as long as I could. In a few days, I'll go where I stood when you left us for friends. There, I'll leave a last gift for you. There, I'll vanish, never to come back. Farewell, Jonathan. I wish you to be as happy as I've been with you all these years. Kiss my Mary and my Emmeline for me. Take care of them. Farewell, my dear boy. Believe me ever, my dearest John. Your devoted father, Aubrey Reed. Southwark. My departure for France as a promising student. My return as a brilliant surgeon. About to be killed. Transformed. Oh my gosh, my... <laughs> my eyes got watery. <laughs> Are you back, Dr. Swansea? How are you feeling, reborn? I really hope he's there. I don't even want to use my vampire vision. I just want to see he's here. <laughs> Dr. Swansea, how do you look? Jonathan, my dear. Ooh. I can never thank you enough. Thank me? For what? Come now, you know what I mean. I am... Well, I'm just like you. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. How could I not be happy? You offered me the ultimate freedom. More than I ever could have dreamt of. So how do you feel? How do you feel since you changed? Absolutely fine. Did you know I can determine the health of every patient or nurse just by looking at him? I know. Fascinating. Vampire vision, isn't it cool? Do you feel the hunger? Yes. It's very peculiar. Uh, not like mortal hunger at all. It's like I'm never sated. Fortunately, blood is no rare commodity at Pembroke. Just uh, don't take it from unwilling patients, okay? Have you taken a life yet, Edgar? Don't you think that's a private matter? Hey, I'm I your would maker. I not ask you such an indiscreet question. Hey, you... I know you're a good person. Please... You know. Oh, also, how's Jeffrey? He's also a vampire. Have you news of Jeffrey McCollum? I'm sure both of you would have quite an interesting discussion after <laughs> recent events. You might he be left friends the now. Hospital without being treated for the severe beating you gave him, we'll meet again soon enough. Does not the prospect of meeting him as a vampire thrill you? The two old enemies reunited post mortem. Maybe we could even share a glass of. Blood, you mean, Why? not wine. <laughs> I really don't know if he will accept his condition. He has spent his life beheading leeches, you know. Also true. What will you do now that you are immortal? Experiment, my dear colleague. I have an eternity to make scientific progress. I could be the only scientist able to undertake extreme experiments upon himself. Okay, upon yourself, okay, but... Please do not start another epidemic and please don't become a mad scientist. My god, Edgar. Did you learn nothing from your forays into folly? I have, I swear. No more experiments on mortals. Good, good, good. See? I said mortal. Now don't capture immortals. <laughs> How okay. the mind adapts. <laughs> what kind of experiments? Who knows? Nervous shock, brain damage, Ooh. pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. Oh my gosh, I you're a masochist. Henry Head. Who's that? Well, he seems to be having fun. Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? Of course. I can help more than ever. And since I'm already dead, I can't get sick. <laughs> Are you not afraid Prewen will find you? 
Next time, they will do more than abduct and torture you. I remain a man of peace. If things were to go awry, I would flee rather than slice them up as you would, my friend. Yes, flee. Have you seen Elizabeth? Has she passed this way since you returned? No. And I'm terrified to see her again. Why? I really am, Jonathan. She could very well tear me to pieces for what I did. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Goodbye, Edgar. I'm certain we'll meet again. You have a point. You did use her blood to start an epidemic. And she seems... Well, this comes back to another theory that I have, by the way. Like, she did say at the end, like, save the city, Jonathan, what's left of it, or something like that. So, she does seem to want to save the city. But at the same time, she is... I remember Doris Fletcher, she said something I like you... I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, mister, I didn't mean to... Yeah, 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 you. But... I'm just really excited about this new theory I have. <gasps> oh my gosh. Seeing that guy pass by. <laughs> it always, I don't know, the morgue just scares me. I'm a freaking vampire, but the morgue for some reason always scares me since the start of the game. Doris Fletcher said that I killed her Let's father. Finish, yeah. Did I really, maybe, when I was alive, did I? I'm wondering if the, if Lady Ashbury's maker, she never wants to talk about him. Could he have been, you know, could Jonathan have killed her maker and he, and maybe that's why the, you know, uh, William Marshall made made me into his champion because I I did something like that, and could, and could actually Lady Ashbury hate my guts because I killed her maker? Because Harriet Jones did say that whoever I always thought Mary was the one that made Harriet Jones. I thought it, at first I thought it was Sean Hampton, and then it was like, she, like, it hates you. Like, whoever the darkness is, her maker, oh, it hates you. She said something like that. So I thought it, then it was Mary, Mary Reed. Did I say Jones? Mary. Her, his sister. I thought it was the maker. And since the Iker's i -cores, they they're like the embodiment of hate, of epidemic, of then and like they go ang uh, they are angry and insane and filled with hate and hate and anger but for some reason lady ashbury is not like that so could it be a facade since since maybe she's actually like that but she's hiding it well but at the same time she did want to kill harriet jones so it almost seems like she doesn't want to kill people and i think she might have been the first that caused the first disaster because she does remember the first uh, time, the, um, you know, pre and one killed the uh, ancient va ancient vampires, and she fled. She's either someone really good or someone really bad, and right now I don't know if she's on my side or not, because it can go either way for me. Because Harriet Jones did say like, "Oh, the my maker. Oh, it hates you." So. What, does Lady Ashbury hate me? Or or did she hear the thoughts maybe of Lady Ashbury's Lady Ashbury's maker? She never did want to tell me her age. That's the thing. So she could be also really old to have just caused the disaster and knows William Marshall maybe and things like that. I don't know. She never wants to tell me her age. Oh, stop hitting me with the cross. Don't 
turns out I didn't even need to go and die there so many times. It was always here and I missed it and I was yeah, it's here. Insulin. Of course it is. Much more there. efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis. And much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. Oh, that's a Romanian name. Oh, I'm so frustrated this whole episode. I'm so sorry. Off to the next quest. Oh, is it this thing? Expensive watch. Wait, it is. Oh, so that was it. An exquisite and finely crafted golden watch that belonged to Jonathan's father. I will not sell that. I know I can, but I do not want to. I'm a softie when it comes to that. I'm very sentimental. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this! I did not know there's a train in this game. And also look at this. While I was passing through here. Look at this. <laughs> That's kind of funny. When I saw this train. Oh! Now it appeared. Last time it didn't appear. I wonder why. Come on! Finally. Be careful, Carol. You're wasting good food here. Y yes, Mother. Well, she's too afraid of her. I said be careful, child. Wow. <gasps> wow! I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mommy has been so clumsy again. No, th that's okay. Mm, she's not the clumsy one the mother is. So pale. Are you feeling sick? Do you need to see a doctor? No, 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 I'm not, I'm fine. I, I already saw the doctor last week. Don't be silly, you must see a doctor. Just don't tell him how clumsy your mummy is, all right? I love you so much, my baby. I love you too, mother. Oh my gosh, she needs to go to the hospital. She could kill her. On accident. She doesn't seem healthy in the head. Carol, are you okay? She really is the mature one. Oh my goodness. Dr. Reed. Uh, I am glad to see you again. Uh-huh, I wish I could say the same. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. You are responsible for your daughter's many injuries and scars, Carolyn. You brutalize her, don't you? How could I abuse my own flesh and blood? This is nonsense. It would be like hurting myself. You really believe you've done nothing wrong, don't you? How long has this been going on for? I should have seen it when you were my patients. Seen what? Child abuse? Are you mad, Dr. Reed? I dedicated my whole life to my precious Carol. She is a part of me. Yes. Even her name is just a part of yours. This is a terrible tragedy. Something of an unknown disorder. My God. Abuse that comes from overwhelming love. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How dare you say something like that? What kind of a monster do you think I am? Tell me, Carolyn, do you often wound or hurt your daughter by mistake? No. I always thought it was Carol's clumsiness that caused these incidents. Maybe it's a family trait, Doctor. You really believe it's just bad luck and being clumsy, then? Of course, Doctor. What else could it be? I have nothing to hide. Speak to me, Carolyn. Why do you behave like this? How does it make you feel to hurt Carol before cajoling her? I... I don't know. It makes me feel good to take care of my daughter. I need to feel useful. No one ever takes care of me. I need someone to take care of me. Do you realize Carol is a person? Not a toy. Not a doll. The poor girl would put her hand in a flame to please you. You are both trapped in this toxic relationship. Carol and I are perfectly happy. Leave us be. 
How stupid I was to believe you could be a suitable husband. Oh my gosh, I never said yes to that. If no one stops you, you will kill her. You will keep on torturing her out of smothering love until she breaks or you hurt her too much. How dare you? I carried Carol inside of me for nine months. You men can't understand the bond between a mother and her child. I could kill for her. Goodbye for now, Miss Price. Listen, you two need some space. Carol? Don't Carol? No, you're not. Carol. I cannot enter. Get up here. I am sorry. I, I, I can't help you, sir. Perhaps you should talk with someone else instead. No, I think I can, I can help you. Good evening, young lady. My mother always prefers when people simply call me Carol. Is it true you often hurt yourself, Carol? Yes, it's true. I try to behave. I really do. But one way or another, I always end up injured or wounded. I'm so stupid. Why would you be stupid? It's like I can't help getting under my mother's feet. That's how I end up being pushed, cut, or, or burned. You see, I'm a stupid girl, really. When exactly do these accidents happen? Ever since I was little. That's why I need to stay with Mum. I'm not capable of taking care of myself. Yes, you are. Your mother is a threat to you. You need to understand you are in danger, Carol. Your mother is responsible for all your injuries. That's a lie. She has always taken good care of me. She only gets irritated when I get under her feet. It's my fault. My mum loves me so much. Yes, Carol. Your mother believes she loves you as much as you're convinced she loves you. But you are both trapped in a toxic relationship that puts you in danger. But what are you saying? That she lied to me all these years? That she wants me to be miserable? My mother has dedicated her life to my safety. Don't you realize she would break your legs just for you to never leave her side? Your mother is terribly sick, Carol. She suffers from one of the most sadistic attitudes I've ever encountered and tortures you with a twisted sense of love. No, my mum loves me and only wants the best for me. It's my fault if I can never do anything right. She deserved a better girl than me. That's not true. How dare you think like that? Goodbye, Carol. Wait, I saw a hint open. Don't to read. I am glad. Shush. Good evening, Miss. You know. What do I do about you guys? Goodbye for now, Miss Price. I don't know what to do about them. I hope you can stay a little longer. Mm, not for a second. Oh my gosh! I just realized. Maybe I can talk to the cop. I'm like, what do I do? Listen, dude. Doctor Reed. Still I'm so tall, I know. And I can't... Oh my gosh. Goodbye, Detective Inspector. Goodbye. If anybody knows what I can do to help these two girls, please help me. So I can help them. Because I have no idea what to do. So I'm looking for McCollum. Jeffrey McCollum. And he's in the graveyard actually since he's a vampire i'm guessing this is the only place he could go if huh? McCollum really oh. drank the blood of king arthur then i may have found a my recipe mccollum it's kind of weird that you're <gasps> whoa oh my god whoa so wait is he continuing to kill you know, werewolves and scowls and all of that. Too bad I can't talk to him. Okay, I'm gonna let you kill the werewolf. Good job, McCollum! You get him. But I also am very aware that after he kills the werewolf, he's gonna attack me. I feel bad. I wanted to actually have a conversation with him as a vampire. How? 
all how all his perceptions have changed. Wait. <gasps> I can! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I didn't attack him! Would I have killed him? Could I have killed him and then... None of it, and then... Oh my gosh! Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCollum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. You didn't drink it while you were I'm thirsty, right? You possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you? Ah. Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. Sure. What precisely are your plans? To save a city. A creature called a disaster is about to be unleashed. It falls upon me, as once it did Marshall, to stop it before the whole country is ravaged. I should have destroyed that book. And yet, I wish I could join this battle well, alongside you. you. But this crusade is not mine to fight. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Can we speak more? Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Look at how easily now he talks to me. Then he didn't want to listen at all to, to a word I said. How are you adapting to immortality? I feel so powerful it gives me shivers. I could be the greatest vampire I know, ever. right? You are worst nightmare in truth. I know, but don't worry, you don't you don't need to hunt me. I'm a good I'm a good vampire. Will you hunt me down? Not for now. But you had better behave, Doctor. Or I may change my mind. Nah, I told you, we can work together. Will you leave the guard now that you are... what you are? Are we not creatures of deceit? I could hide my nature from my men. Or name a successor. Go my own way. I know not yet my path. I don't know, you instantly knew I'm a vampire. Can't be instantly know you're a vampire. Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. Oh, so he's like your father, huh? And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One time leader of Prewin. He killed my Wait, father what? in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Rain after teaching me how to kill leeches. Okay, what the frick? Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. Wait, what? And yet I... worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire. Oh. And tore out my mother's throat. Oh, now it makes sense. So I'm guessing that's why you won't become your father. Even as a vampire, you're still a noble vampire hunter. Farewell, my Progeny. Do not stretch your luck, Reed. <laughs> you know, I'm glad I made you a vampire. <laughs> you may hate me now, but come on. <laughs> I told you from the start, I looked at him and he's like, he looks just like if, if Dr. Reed became a vampire hunter. You're like brothers. Come on. We can work together. For the last page, I Google said. <laughs> I had to Google. That it's here and i've actually seen this sewer, but i didn't go here because i thought that eventually i would have to so it's here the fourth page so i will try to do this before you know making the antidote because i do like to be a completionist as much as i can <gasps> oh my gosh the 
fact is I did hear him, but I don't know why I still got so scared. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys really like sneaking up on me, huh? And apparently I can't speak English right now. What is speak this place? English, do ya? Oh my gosh, you actually said that! <laughs> what timing! Perfect! I've never even heard them say that before, that line. Where's the last page? Box of pills. More braille. Yay! I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. Cure for blindness. Yay! I'm so glad that I'm almost done with riddles and all of those kinds of I things. I cannot enter. A code to open. Oh, never mind, I guess. This game has a lot of secrets. Hey, McCollum. Damn, you're really busy, huh? You got this. You got this. Good job. <laughs> Enjoying his newfound immortality. And now I have all the pay. Oh. I've never used this on you, huh? <laughs> that actually looks so funny. These guys killed me once. I brought them out. Let them attack each other. Can I just now go and, you know, talk to this guy? Thank you very much. They were getting on my nerves. I found the last page. Oh my gosh, I can still hear them outside. What can I do for you, Doctor? Here is another page of the diary we were talking about. Ah, now we're talking. Ingredients, dosages, dangers and side effects, this is it. Is the diary complete now? No. The author tested his work in a hidden laboratory. You must find out where it was. Please, find me more pages, Doctor. More pages? Are you kidding me right now? Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. It's not showing up in my inventory. Hi, McCall, I'm gonna help you with one, okay? Okay, maybe two. Maybe two. See, we work so well together. Look at you. Killing werewolves all day, every day. Oh my gosh, will I ever stop <laughs> destroying these tombs? Tombstones. You guys are so lucky that you don't need to see me going around back and forth. I'm already back here. I just need to take care of this guy. Oh my gosh, I really do die really fast. Oh, what's my level? It's locked. The door requires a core code to open it, but I do have a code. Okay, so I looked online, so apparently this is a bug. It doesn't give me the code. It's just stuck on that. Four out of four. It doesn't say go to the laboratory. So I guess I'm just gonna go and do make the antidote. Or maybe this is gonna be for the next uh, episode. I'm guessing this episode is long, I don't know. Bye, McCollum. Bye, McCollum. Too bad this episode ended on a sad note. Maybe next episode I'm gonna be happier.